Hey everyone, it is Havel High here, bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We are on Global, and finally, Int Janemba is going to get his EZA, he's going to get his Extreme Z Awakening, and we're going to be able to do his Extreme Z Battle here. So, we're going to be doing a full breakdown with team builds on how to complete the EZA, do a little talk about link partners, and go over the overall details of this incredible unit. So, with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff, and always a shout out to DBZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki for info and images provided. Let's go ahead and jump into the details of the unit right away. And that's right, who cares about what it was before? What is it now, right? Netherworld Demon Super Janemba, uh, extreme int type. His leader skill goes from, I believe it was just like 80% to attack for int type to now int type key plus three HP attack defense 90% across the board. Uh, very good for, of course, uh, battlefield uh, leader, secondary leader, things of that nature. His super attack is lightning rain shower, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Basically, he's minus 30% for 30 turns, or not 30 turns, for 3 turns. And uh, the passive skill is really where it shines here, the space domination. Attack and defense, 70%, which is solid. That's just a, uh, the baseline there. But then it gets better. It has guard activated against all attacks. So this is the counterpart, uh, the opposite of Strength Gogeta, right? Strength Gogeta is attack effective against all types. This is is guard activated against all types uh, with a medium chance 25% to evade enemies attack including super attack and then when your guard is activated meaning once you get hit uh, you can get a, an additional 40% to your attack for four turns it doesn't stack it just stays at that 40% so really uh, nice extra buff there at 110% for attack uh, I'm not too sure if they calculate it separately or not, but either way, it's still a really nice buff there. Now, the link skills, uh, solid link skills, uh, big bad bosses, shocking speed, metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, nightmare, fear and faith, and fierce battle. Uh, that fear and faith is, faith is important for definitely for the category transformation boost to link up with that um, with that transformation boo. Uh, but then also boss uh, movie bosses is the other category. That's really where the limitation of this unit really is, is because it's so minimalized when it comes to the amount of categories you can use this uh, character on I uh, wish he was on you know other um, uh, other teams as well because he's really so great his 12 key multiplier is 140 percent when you max him out uh, he's gonna have HP stats of 16,000 uh, attack 18-6 very good there and defense 11-4 uh, anything over 10,000 is really good and 11,000 is really really great so uh, this unit here a lot of people consider this the best EZA so far in uh, in global right now I still like uh, Gogeta better um, just because of his effectiveness against all types versus the defense but if you're more prevy to defense then Janem is going to be your your go-to person uh, I still like attack just a little bit more so uh, Gogeta gets my vote uh, as for now of course we got some other EZAs coming up pretty soon uh, that uh, you know is going to be a lot better than both of those units so uh, but yeah this is the Extreme Z Awakening for Super Janemba let's go ahead and look at some of the link partners this unit actually has if you are going to be running um, you know uh, this unit on some teams here so his best link partner that you can run on a team all right let me take that back on a category team is actually Omega Shenron now you might say wait a minute Omega Shenron is not a movie boss or a transformation boost you are correct uh, Omega Shenron is actually you're able to use him on a full power movie bosses team where it's going to be uh, full power Broly as the leader uh, you're able to then run Omega Shenron with uh, uh, Easy Agent Emba here. They're going to get four key together, 25% to attack, and then 25%, uh, additional 25% to attack and defense uh, with big bad bosses basically when you're under 80% HP. So as long as you're running at under 80% 80, 80 HP, that additional 25% to attack defense is monstrous, uh, you know, on top of what he's already doing in his passive. So in movie bosses, just movie bosses, so let's say you are you don't have a full power um, a Broly and you're able just to run a Turles movie boss team, then you can run a, uh, a team with uh, the Int Metal Cooler Army he gets plus 40 key, 10% to attack, and then we have your big bad, big bad bosses at 25% to attack and defense under 80%. So not as good as the Omega Shenron, but you know it works out uh, fairly well. And, uh, and you got LR stats as well there. So then you got uh, uh, Cooler. 
uh, physical cooler, which I think it's it's a very solid uh, link set that they have with each other. Uh, only plus two the key, but that really doesn't matter. When it comes to easy A's, you're not doing you know you're not up against LRs where they need that 18 18 key uh, super attack. 12's good enough here. So in this case scenario, you know having um, you know eight key right away uh, really is beneficial. So only four, only four away from from you uh, getting your super attack, and then 15 attack, 25% with um, uh, big bad bosses, and then recover 5% HP. It's actually the exact same Lynx set as transforming uh, Frieza as well. So you can use transforming Frieza instead of Cooler if you uh, don't have the physical Cooler. And uh, finally, you of course can run this on transformation boost with the leader. Not too many good units have fear and faith that link up with uh, strength transformation boo here. This one, it's okay, it's good enough. It's plus two to key 25 to attack and then recover 5%. There's some other units you can use in transformation boost. It's not gonna have the same uh, link set, but enough links to give you like at least your two key and a little bit of attack boost. And that's with, um, with uh, Int, Goku Black. You have the uh, future um, Easy A's of Strength Cell and uh, Int Buhan. So those two, when they both Easy A, then you can add those on the list of good link partners. Now there are two other link partners you can really use. Uh, one's actually uh, they're his best, one of his best link partners with five links, just like Omega Shenron, and that's actually uh, the Extreme Int uh, Hellfighter uh, 17. So this unit here, I believe, is plus four and 35% to attack. But the only thing that you can use them on is if you're going to be running a full int extreme int team, or you're going to, you know, maybe use a rose uh, team here. So then you're going to end yourself having uh, two int units. But yeah, extreme int's probably the only team that you're going to run on there. Uh, and then if you're going to run a uh, AGL rose team, you need uh, maybe an int unit and an AGL unit. Then uh, the super 17 actually links okay with. So basically, this is. Uh, his links set right down below. You can see there: brutal beatdown, metamorphosis, big bad bosses, shocking speed, fierce battle, nightmare, and fear and faith. And like I said, that fear and faith is definitely beneficial for that uh, transformation boost. So, those are your options that you can choose from. It's very limited, just like Ogeta. So, you know, you know, unfortunately, if he was on uh, more categories, I would definitely say he's better than Gogeta and a lot of other uh, EZA units, but he's very limited with just those two category um, uh, category types. So anyway, hopefully that was of use for you. Let's go ahead and now move on to how to complete the EZA here. So uh, let's go into the EZA. Uh, now he is gonna be weak against uh, really fusion. That's gonna be the key thing. If you run fusion units, you're gonna be just fine. You're gonna tear through this, no problem. And you're gonna have to uh, either use physical type or super uh, strength types or super physical and super strength types uh, for you to have some sort of um, uh, non-damage mitigated um, uh, a debuff when you hit level 20 and above. That's when it gets hard because the additional damage reduction is by 80% to AGL units, tech units, uh, int units, and all extreme units. So you can't bring any extreme units to complete this uh, uh, this EZA event here. So just focus on your fusion, your uh, super physical, and your super strength. So let's look at some team builds that can help you complete this, uh, this event here. And starting with uh, the easiest one here is just a full fusion team. And unfortunately, fusion is so limited in what you can use. You only really can use your uh, your int units, or, or not your int units, your physical units, or your strength units. Uh, and that's what you're seeing here. So this is all fusion with uh, physical and strength units here. And your key people here is going to be LR um, Gogeta, of course, and then EZA. Gogeta, Strength Gogeta, he's a monster anywhere you take him uh, on there. Everyone else is, is beneficial. Your Fist Tanks is going to do some uh, damage as well, but you got a Sealer, uh, which I don't think you even can, I don't think you can seal on on that uh, uh, on that event. But then you got Weirus to help you with some orb changes and stuff like that. That uh, Strength Gotenks isn't all, all that great. I think he gets extra boost if you put him in first position, but besides that, uh, like I said, the four units to do damage dealing, uh, Strength Gogeta, Fist Tanks, and an LR um, Gogeta times two with a friend, right? So uh, that's the team that uh, you can run there as an all fusion team. Then you can 
bring a off physical team, uh, super physical that is. And really the three units you're bringing that are not fusion units is going to be uh, Super Vegito, uh, Future Gohan, and then I just put in um, uh, uh, LR Trunks here. So you know, got that critical attack, things of that nature. They Those three are only going to get a 90% buff uh, versus the 170 uh, HP and attack and then defense 130 so big debuff on those three units but it's gonna be good enough to complete uh, up to at least stage 30 so um, then you have uh, this is gonna be a little bit harder but you know still usable on here and that's your super strength uh, you can run Goku here uh, now a lot of people are like where is that uh, uh, that fusion strength unit in Gogeta this this one this bad boy right here well he's not out yet because the uh, the movie stages hasn't re-arrived on uh, on global quite yet so he will come out and the free-to-play uh, Gogeta will happen so uh, so super strength a little bit more difficult but still doable if you want to run super strength and you don't have enough fusion or physical uh, units on here so uh, really, I think the optimal to run really is something like this is fusion with super physical uh, Basically, you're bringing four fusion units and then you're bringing uh, your super Vegito and then your um, Gohan in here now future Gohan because of his damage mitigation really can help out and He links pretty decently with uh, With uh, LR Gogeta well, pretty decently as at least giving him the uh, plus uh, the prepare for battle plus two to key so but everybody else is gonna hit really hard uh, like I said you just focus on the Gogetas uh, as attackers and you'll be just fine on this event so if you're looking for free to play it's a little bit more difficult right because if you're trying to do like a fusion free to play team impossible to do but you can then just focus on your super strength and your super uh, physical team and this is kind of the team that I'm like eh, we can probably make something happen out of this you know you got your easy a uh, Vegeta jr. there you're gonna be running uh, you know thousand day Goku as kind of the only option uh, here I guess you can run LR Vegito blue uh, as well uh, but you know that's at 70% or 77% all types this is a hundred percent at least so either way and you can run uh, the Strength Vegeta Blue as a leader if you don't have the Thousand Day Goku. And then you're still going to be bringing in the Gogeta Friend, uh, LR Gogeta Friend, even though it's not going to buff your uh, LR Pan or your uh, your leaders um, in um, uh, the, in Thousand Day Goku. Couldn't even talk there. Everyone else at least gets a 90% boost, uh, but then himself gets that 170. So you're just going to be youth focusing on the turn. Uh, he, he's at least in the first turn to, to do the attack and uh, do some big damage when you're at that level 30 stage. So this is a way to do it. If not, you just maybe run it, uh, you know, a dual uh, Goku, right? So you can run it this way. I guess you can run a, a dual Vegito, LR Vegito Blue as well. And it's going to be just very, very difficult. There's very few free-to-play super physical and um, strength units, uh, you know, in the game. So going to be very tough. But definitely give it a shot if you guys are free to play and you want to run these the either one of these teams but i think this team is going to be the easiest just to rip through um, this event here so anyway that is the full breakdown with some team builds with some link partners you know nice little discussion there hopefully you gain some insight in this amazing unit here finally has arrived now also the uh, other two gohans the physical gohan and the agl ultimate gohan I should say ultimate gohan is going to get their easy a's as well so definitely make sure you complete those that's going to be dropping at the same time once again this is going to be dropping after after maintenance when this video is being recorded so once maintenance is done we should be able to complete uh, the easy a for in Geneva so anyway with that uh, thank you guys for watching if you are new to my channel like subscribe comment below share do all that good stuff and uh, yeah keep on doconing we'll catch you next time